Welcome back guys. In this video, we are going to cover methods of food preservation. What is this food preservation? Ensuring that the food lasts a longer time without getting spoiled because of the growth of microorganisms is known as food preservation. So it can be done in two steps. First step is killing the microbes in the food. And second step is stopping them from growing again. So method one, heating. Heating food to a high temperature kills microbes. So we are using this technique in our kitchen. For example, milk and water, they are boiled to kill microbes. Milk has a very short shelf life. So if we want to preserve it for two days, three days or one week, what we can do? We can go for pasteurization of milk. What is pasteurization? Pasteurization is a technique which consists of heating milk to a high temperature of 70 degrees centigrade for about half a minute and then cooling it quickly. This kills most of the bacteria without affecting the flavor of the milk. This method is generally used in dairy farms and this method was invented by Louis Pasteur. Second technique of milk preservation is ultra heat treatment UHT. In this partial sterilization of milk is done by heating it for a short time around 1 to 2 seconds at temperature exceeding 135 degrees centigrade and then packing it in tetra packs. It increases the shelf life of milk up to 6 months or more or you can say until it is opened. Second method of food preservation is cooling. Cooling the food stops microbes from growing and reproducing. However, food once taken out of the refrigerator or freezer and warm, microorganisms they will start growing again and so such food must be consumed soon after. For cooling, we have deep freezer which you have seen in uh, most of the these ice cream shops in which they are keeping ice creams, other frozen food because they can keep these food items at below minus 18 degrees centigrade and it can prevent it from getting spoiled for a few months. Second option which we all have in our house is use of refrigerator. A refrigerator keeps food at around 5 degrees centigrade and it keeps it from spoiling for a few days. Next method is chemical preservatives. We have a large number of commercial products like jams, jellies, squashes, ketchups. They are not getting spoiled because they have certain chemical preservatives in them like sodium benzoate, sodium meta bisulfite. And children, they are not only used in jams, squashes and ketchups. They are used in variety of other stuffs like this is sugar-free. It also has one chemical preservative sodium benzoate in it. So likewise we have a number of commercial items whether they are edible or non-edible in which these chemical preservatives they are used. In addition to this we too have two very common chemical preservatives in our kitchen and they are salt and sugar. Salt is utilized in number of commercial products to check the growth of bacteria and other fungal organisms and it helps in preservation of meat, fish, pickle, chips, etc. Similarly, sugar, it inhibits the growth of bacteria and it is used as a preservative in jams, jellies and squashes. It also makes microbes to lose water by osmosis. Next is oil and vinegar. They provide an environment in which microorganisms cannot grow. They are used to preserve vegetables, fruits, fish, meat and pickles. Next is drying or dehydration. This leads to gradual removal of water and drying up those food items. So drying and dehydration is also one of the method of food preservation. Next method is canning. Canning consists of sterilizing the food and then sealing it in airtight containers. Sterilizing means making any food item free of microbes and then they are sealed in airtight containers. It prevents them getting spoiled for more than a year. 
we do have one more method here we are flashing the food item with nitrogen gas air is taken out and then nitrogen is flushed into it and then they are sealed it replaces o2 and moisture thus reduces chances of spoilage it is an inert and non reactive gas which does not react with packed food with this i am signing up it's a bio bye from your facilitator dr seema sharma take you to my channel and keep exploring about biology with me bio bye